Hi everyone, Christine Dahl here from Fashion Ninja Warrior. Thank you so very much for tuning in and welcome to our Facebook and Instagram Live. We are gonna talk about episode number 98, all about influencer marketing. We are answering all of your questions. So I posted inside our Fearless Fashionpreneur Facebook group a couple weeks ago. We asked you guys to comment, what are your questions about influencer marketing? Because we are gonna answer all of them for you on a live. And so that's what we're doing tonight. If there is a question that you have that we don't get to, definitely type it in and I will be sure to answer it at the end or as we go along for sure. Hey, Christy, how are you? Nice to see everyone on. So don't forget, as always, share this video. If you're on Facebook, just let people know when you share it, they can't actually watch it unless they're part of our Fearless Fashionpreneur Facebook group. So tell them to join the group, then they can see it. No, there's not an error with the video link. That's just how it works because it is a private group. And if you're on Instagram, tap that paper airplane icon right now, share this to your stories, share it with someone, tag someone in the comments. They will thank you for it. Awesome. And then don't forget to give me your hearts. Give me your thumbs up. I want to hear from you guys. It's like oxygen to me. I need it. I want to feel like I'm having a two-way conversation. So please, please talk to me. Wave at me. Say hi. Super excited to have so many of you on. Hope you're enjoying your wonderful Tuesday. So tonight we're going to talk about the benefits of influencer marketing and is it really worth it at the end of the day? Crucial factors to consider when selecting an influencer, free product, discount, paid, which compensation plan is actually the best, what is expected, plus how to properly manage your influencers, three key components of developing a winning influencer marketing campaign, plus I'm gonna tell all of you how you can actually win $1,200 worth of free influencer marketing, which is insane. And we're gonna talk about that at the end. Hi, Iara, how are you? Eagle Christ, I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. Awesome, so glad that you're here. I'm glad that you enjoy this topic. So first off, I wanna open it up to all of you. There's a bunch of you on. How many of you have actually tried influencer marketing? Type in yes, type in I have, type in oh yeah. Someone's laughing, hopefully that's a good thing. I know there's a little bit of a delay with the comments, so I'll give you guys a second. Hey, Nahima, how are you? Thanks for coming on. Hey, Rhea, how are you? Okay, never. Latina Chic Boutique, no, not yet. Okay, a lot of you haven't tried it yet. Okay, Rhea, you've tried it. I would love to know your comments of how it went. What happened? Was it good? Was it bad? Let us know in the comments. I would really appreciate it. Okay, Esperante Adoptive Clothing. I think I'm saying that correctly. Hopefully not yet. Okay, cool. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of my own results. Inga says too scared. Oh my gosh, hilarious. Don't be scared, guys. Don't be scared. This is one of the most effective digital marketing strategies. It is amazing. Rhea says it was terrible. Oh no. Okay, well, hopefully you're going to learn a lot from today and we're gonna fix this for you right now. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit inside into my own results with my own business, Fashion Angel Warrior. We have done influencer marketing in the past, and I'll give you two examples. One example was I paid for one single post, it was $55, with a link in the bio. It was a forever post, meaning it stays on the page forever. Uh, the person cannot take it down off their page, and the link in the bio was for 24 hours. And, whoops, sorry, there we go. And I paid only $55 and out of that I sold actually a ticket to one of our, to our only actually at this point boot camp class that we did in New York City back in 2017 and that was valued at $1,500. So I paid $55 and I got, I sold something that was $1,500. So that's a really good ROI. That's like an amazing return on my investment. I'll give you another example. I paid $38 for a post. Again, forever post, link in bio for 24 hours. And I actually got over 500 to 600 real followers because of that one post. I've also, on the flip side, paid $40 for a post and it was never posted at the correct time or the link was missing or it was the wrong link or something was missing from the bio. And so it went really bad, right? So there's good, there's bad, 
And hopefully you do it enough and you do it consistently that you find a good group of influencers. Like once I found that influencer that I could pay $55 and get $1,500 in return, I was doing influencer marketing all the time with them because it worked, because I had proven that it worked, right? Obviously the one that I paid $40 for and it didn't work, I no longer continued to work with them. And I think I even requested a refund at the time. So it's really important that you're working with the right influencers, that you're working with the right agency, if you are working with an agency, so on and so forth. So let's get into first, what is influencer marketing? Because I feel like there's a lot of misconceptions about what it actually is. So the true definition is a person with the ability to influence, that's where the word influencer comes from, the ability to influence potential buyers of a product or service by promoting or recommending those items, those product or services on social media. This is the same thing as celebrity endorsements, guys. If you remember back in the 80s and the 90s, you would have like Michael Jordan on the box of a Wheaties, Wheaties cereal box, right? Or something like that. Or, you know, Michael Jordan collaborating with Nike, right? That is influencer marketing. In that case, it was a celebrity. It was a sports athlete, right? But these influencers on social media are their own celebrities. They have garnered so much following, hundreds of thousands of followers, sometimes millions of followers. They are literally a celebrity on social media and they have influence. So it's amazing because now you don't have to pay like millions of dollars to put someone's face on your product or get them to endorse your product like you would having to pay a Michael Jordan to get them to endorse your product. You can literally pay a couple hundred of dollars and have someone promote your product. It is so, so amazing. Now, I'll also talk about the difference between influencer marketing and or being an influencer and being a brand ambassador because people have asked that question as well. And so, in my opinion, and this is again, just my opinion, you can take it for what it's worth, influ influencer marketing, or I'm, excuse me, brand ambassadors are just influencers that are doing a longer type of campaign. So instead of doing like a one-time post for you, they're now your official brand ambassador. Maybe they're doing monthly content for you. Maybe you've hired them for an entire year. Maybe they're constantly doing stories, video, posts, you know, things on social media, things in email marketing, things on their website, blog writing, right? They're doing a bunch of things and it's typically a much longer type of campaign. It doesn't have to be super long. I was literally just the brand ambassador for Tech's World's virtual trade show event that happened last week. And so that really just lasted about six weeks, six or seven weeks. I was doing content for them. I took over their stories. I took over their IG lives. I took over their IG TVs on their, on their profile on Instagram. And so I was their official brand ambassador and it was pretty cool and I got paid to do it and it was awesome. So that's really what brand ambassador really means, at least in my opinion. Now, a lot of people also ask, how does this differ from affiliate marketing? So affiliate marketing and influencer marketing are very similar, but they're not the same. So in affiliate marketing, the brand is paying a commission. So it's not just here's a payment for your post, it's I'll pay you a percentage, a commission, based on the traffic or sales that are generated from your post on your social media or your post on typically on a website, that sort of thing. And so it's a commission-based type of structure. It's not an outright payment. Now, certainly you can hire influencers and do it commission. That's not typically the way it's done. And technically it would be called affiliate marketing, not influencer marketing. But if they have an influence, of some sort on social media, then technically it is influencer marketing as well. So does that make sense? I hope I hope this is all making sense to you guys. If it's not, definitely let me know in the comments and I will definitely let you know. Okay, cool. Just checking the comments real fast. So tonight I'm gonna specifically deal with influencers on Instagram. However, you can hire influencers to do any type of campaign, whether it's on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest, right? There's so many different social media platforms. You can even hire them to do blog writing for you. Um, there's many, many different types of influencer marketing campaigns, but I'm gonna specifically talk about Instagram because it is the most popular. So now, influencer marketing is super effective, but it is not simple. And don't forget, you're dealing with humans. This is not 
the Facebook ads or algorithms or AI or bots or computers, right, that are somewhat foolproof, even though those are sometimes not foolproof either. These are human beings and humans make mistakes. We're not perfect, right? So you have to give people a little bit of grace. And because of that, it can be a real headache to deal with influencers. Trust me when I tell you this, okay? I've been dealing with a lot of them lately and so I know. But like any form of marketing, what do you always need? A strategy. You guys know I am all about strategy. It's not enough just to have the knowledge. You have to know how to actually apply the knowledge in the proper way. So it's about strategy. And of course, your favorite, it's about consistency. And I know you guys hate that word, but it's about being consistent. You can't just do one thing with one influencer and say, oh no, it doesn't work, I'm never doing it again. Could have been a bad influencer, could have been a bad week, could have been a bad uh, time of day. Who knows, your product could have sucked. I mean, that is a possibility, guys. Just saying, all right? All right, so let's talk about the benefits of influencer marketing. So first, you can grow a tribe of potential customers in a more organic way. So yes, obviously it's paid, it's considered, sort of advertising, marketing, right? But it's more organic than some of the other things. I would say it's more organic than Facebook ads or Instagram ads or something like that, right? Obviously you can increase your following, you can reach people that you would otherwise have no access to with your own company page. You can gain a lot of trust from your followers. Um, customers are more likely to believe someone else's testimony about your product, right? They're more likely to believe an influencer probably over you. You can increase SEO in your website traffic and even generate backlinks, which is really, really good for SEO if you happen to be doing influencer marketing with blog posts. You can also obviously generate sales. Everyone wants sales at the end of the day, right? Yes, who wants more sales? Type in yes in the comments, give me some hearts. I know you're all dying for sales, especially right now during COVID. I know it's tough, guys but you've gotta hang in there and hopefully you'll learn a little bit about influencer marketing today that can help you as well. So is it really worth it? So I already gave you some examples from my own business. I will also give you some examples from a client that we just did. So this is a real life example. We recently did a giveaway with a swimsuit designer. Oh, thanks guys for all the hearts. I love it, keep it coming. Beverly, hey, how are you? Tara, hey, hey, how are you girls doing? So real life example, we just did some influencer marketing with a swimwear brand that we're producing right now. We did one post with influencer C, we'll call her. She had 121,000 followers, 47% women, and we paid $500 for one post with Lincoln Bio for 24 hours. Out of that one post, we got 7,000 likes, 96 comments on the post, and 134 total link clicks. Most important stat right there is the link clicks. I don't really care about the likes. I don't really care about the comments. I really care about the link clicks because the link clicks go to the website, right? Then we did another post with influencer B, we'll call her, and we did three posts with this influencer. So she only had 11,000 followers. So 11,000 versus 121,000, okay? She had 21% women. The other girl had 47% women as her demographic and we only paid $100 per post. So we did three posts for $300 total, and we got 550 likes, 36 comments, and 61 total link clicks. So 61 link clicks for $300 versus 134 link clicks for the $500. Now, in my opinion, the $500 one was more effective. It was only one post, first of all. Second of all, I think it was also more effective not because she necessarily had a larger audience, but because her audience was more women. And so this is a swimwear brand for women. We are targeting women, so we really don't want men. Typically men are not buying swimwear for their girlfriends. They could, potentially, yes. But it's not a typical giftable item for a man to buy a woman. A man might buy lingerie for a woman or something like that, but he's typically not gonna buy swimwear. So in my opinion, the influencer C, the one that we paid $500 for was more effective, but because we did three posts with influencer B, because we knew it probably wasn't gonna be that effective, um, they almost equaled out, right? And we probably could have done five posts with influencer B for $500, and I still think influencer C would have beat her out. So 
In the end, all in all, our goal of the campaign was to collect emails. So actually the swimmer brand doesn't have any product to sell yet. So yes, you can actually do influencer marketing before you're ready to sell. Our goal specifically for this campaign was emails only. So we got 50 emails out of these two influencers and the four posts that they did, which is actually really, really good. Like people don't wanna give you their emails, guys. So it was very, very effective. So in my opinion, if you have the right influencers and the right strategy and the right agency that you're working with, you can succeed with influencer marketing. So now let's talk about what are the crucial factors to consider when you're selecting an influencer, because this is super important. And you guys already heard me allude to some of these things, so it's gonna make a little bit more sense, right? So you need to first off know your own target demographics, your own target customer avatar. Who is this person that you're going after? What's your niche? What are their demographics, age range, locations? All of that stuff is super, super important so that then you can find the right influencer, right? And some of these factors that we're gonna go over right now apply to the influencer themselves and it also applies to the influencer's demographic. So of course, I wanna see the influencer's insights and you can literally ask them to take screenshots. I would not just ask them to email you what their insights are. I literally wanna see the screenshots myself with the date and the time up in the top of their phone so that I know that it was real and they're not faking it. But um, it's really important that you ask for those screenshots and then you know what to look for, right? So age range. Typically on Instagram insights, they will give you an age range, 25 to 35, 18 to 24. So obviously if an influencer has primarily 18 to 24 and you're going after an older customer, then you probably don't wanna work with that influencer. Very simple, right? Gender, you guys heard me talk about this before. Percentage of men to women. A lot of influencers, especially girls that are really pretty, that have you know really curvy bodies and all that kind of stuff and are showing some skin, they have a ton of guys in their profiles because these guys are creepy and they're stalking them, okay? So you don't want them. You don't want guys, if you're targeting women, to buy your stuff and you're not selling lingerie, you don't want a girl's Instagram profile that has primarily men, okay? So you saw in the previous post, one girl only had, in the previous example, one girl only had 21% women. That's really, really low. She's, she's got a lot of guys stalking her. And the other one had 47% women. So keep in mind, it's gonna be difficult for you to find more than 50% women if the girl is really pretty. But it is possible, we have found girls that have 70% women, so it is definitely possible. And again, this is why you ask for the screenshots. Hey, Sasha, thanks for joining. Hope you can watch the replay. Thanks for the comment. Okay, cool. So next is the top five locations. That will also come up in your Instagram uh, insights of the influencer. And that's really important because you might be targeting specific locations like for this brand, it was a swimwear, and so we wanted to target places that were already warm because nobody's buying a swimsuit in a cold location. And then we also were also concerned about where the influencer was actually located because there are certain boutiques and certain people that were looking to target in certain areas. And so the influencer's location itself was also a deciding factor. Then there's things you wanna look for like best day of the week, that will be visible on their insights, their average reach, average impressions, the engagement rate. The engagement rate is not visible on their insights, but you can figure it out for yourself. I teach all of this inside of our intelligent Instagram class, but you can honestly just look at how many comments they're getting. If they're getting five comments per post and they have 100,000 followers, something is wrong. They have no engagement, right? So you wanna see lots of comments and lots of interaction. Then you also just wanna look at the general brand aesthetic of the page. Does it match yours? Are you a really high-end fashion brand versus like a vintage inspired brand? And maybe you're doing swimwear and they have no pictures of themselves in a bikini. They're probably not gonna be comfortable putting on a bikini, right? So think about their page, stalk them a little bit, look at the types of poses that they're doing. Does it match your brand aesthetic? so on and so forth, right? Hopefully that makes all sense. Then you wanna also look at the girl's body shape. And I'm specifically talking about girls. I know that some people are targeting men and it goes the same for men as well. Body shape is very important, right? If you're targeting curvy girls, 
versus really straight model thin type girls, maybe you're targeting plus size women, then obviously you wanna use a plus size influencer, right? Makes sense. So look at their body shape, look to see if it matches your specific target customer. And then also you wanna find out their size. So the actual size of the influencer because you're gonna be sending them product, right? Now, if you don't have inventory and you only have your samples, which is possible, you can send your samples to an influencer and have them send them back, then you really need to make sure that the influencer is the exact size of your samples, otherwise it's not gonna work and she's not gonna wear it, right? So really, really important that you find out what their size is. Then you wanna see what other types of products are they also promoting and endorsing and does it match and does it align with your market segment, right? So if a girl is promoting McDonald's and Walmart and you're doing high-end evening wear, not gonna work, right? Like that's not the same demographic. And so you definitely wanna move on to another influencer. Then you wanna find out if they're a micro influencer or macro influencer. My definition of this is micro is under 50,000, macro is anything over 50,000. Some people say micro is under 100,000. I tend to like girls that have a lower following because I think that A, it's more real, and B, they have a bigger influence but it really all depends. The example I gave you before versus the girl that had 121,000 followers and the other one had only 11,000 followers, the girl with 120,000 followers did better. But there were also other deciding factors, right? So all these things, really, really important to take into consideration. And then last but not least, are their followers fake or real? Super important and then there's a really easy way to figure this out based on their insights. I teach all of this inside our class number nine of our fashion startup intensive. PR like a boss. It is an amazing class. I'm going to tell you guys about it a little bit more later, but I literally teach all of this inside the class. So if you're wondering, how do I figure this out? It's all in the class for you. Pro tip, in my opinion, micro influencers do receive more of a targeted following. It's typically 13% over macro influencers. So in my opinion, they are typically better, but I always say do a little bit of both so that you can test and just see what works in the end of the day. Then of course you'll wanna make sure that you reach out to these influencers in the right way if you are going to do it yourself and not hire an agency. And there's literally over six different ways that you can reach out and I give you guys two email templates ready to go all inside our PR Like a Boss class. So that is super, super awesome as well. Okay, so now let's talk about free product, discounts, paid, compensation models, which is the right thing. So I polled you guys on Instagram. A lot of you said paid is better than free product and you are right. Free is not really the best method anymore. Long time ago, yes, a lot of influencers would just take product. Now they want product and they wanna get paid. And I don't blame them. It is a lot of time to hire a photographer, take photos, edit them, post them to your Instagram. It takes time, guys. It is literally a full-time job. And so unless they're totally in love with your brand and absolutely just want free product, they probably want to get paid as well. So they'll only take free product, in my opinion, if they really, really like it, or if your social media following actually matches theirs, they may be willing to do like a swap shout out with you. So I have a couple of my influencer brands that we work with that do this. And if your page is at the same level as their page, you know, they're like, hey, I'll scratch your back, you scratch mine, we both do a shout out, we both get what we want at the end of the day, which is awesome. Which is also why you need to have a really good Instagram following, which you guys know I'm always preaching, and because there are so many reasons and so many benefits to having it. So in my opinion, you need to pay them. Now, how much should you pay them? Well, it can vary. I've seen posts as low as $7, literally all the way up to $500 per post. If you do a campaign of some kind, which is a longer type of engagement, it can be in the thousands. Obviously you wanna spend as little as possible while still getting results, but as you can see, sometimes you have to spend a little bit more to get what you really want at the end of the day. The $500 post that we did for this client did much better than the three $100 posts that we did for the other brand, for the other influencer, right? So it's really hard to tell and you really wanna do some testing. Now, I also wanna talk about discounts. So giving influencers a discount on a product in exchange for promoting it 
is really more of a customer rewards type of program. This is not really influencer marketing. Yes, you can do it. And again, it's kind of along the lines of the free product. Like, yeah, if they love your product, maybe they just want a discount so that they can buy more of it, right? But typically, real influencers just wanna be paid or they want product and to be paid, right? So just keep that in mind. If you're doing like discount types of things, then really it's more of a customer rewards type of thing, like spend X amount of money, get 10% off, refer to X amount of people, get 10% off, whatever the case may be. It's more of a customer rewards type program, not really influencer marketing. Is this helping you guys? I wanna make sure you have any questions, please let me know. A lot of you are watching right now, so definitely let me know how everything, if it's making sense, if it's not, if you have any questions, we've got a couple more things to cover and then we'll wrap up. All right, so next question, what is expected and how do I properly manage these influencers? Okay, very informative, awesome. Aaliyah, nice to meet you, thanks for joining. So this depends. What's expected depends on your level of expectation. There's actually over nine types of campaigns that an influencer can do. And again, we talk about all of this in our online course, PR Like a Boss. You can have forever posts. You can have posts that are only up for a couple days. You can have link in bio for a few hours. You can have link in bio for 24 hours. You can do stories. What's considered a story? Is it one single post? Is it a multiple four or five posts all together in a story? Is it an IGTV? Is it a video, right? Like it really just all depends on what you want at the end of the day. But I can tell you one thing, I expect that influencer, if they are being paid and given free product, I expect them to agree to whatever the terms are that we have set out and we have contracts for all of our influencers. And I expect them to post on the specific day and the specific time and to follow all of our instructions very, very succinctly. I've had influencers not post at the right day and time. I've had influencers forget to put the link in the bio or they do a hashtag that's the wrong hashtag or something just goes wrong, right? And it can be a nightmare, especially if you have a lot of influencers all promoting at the same time, especially on the same day because you're launching, launching like a giveaway contest or you're doing a launch party or you're launching your brand or something like that. So it's really, really important. And, um, this is why a lot of brands do hire agencies. So how many of you, I asked this question in the beginning, but a lot of you are new now. How many of you have had horrible experiences with influencer marketing? Let me know in the comment, say, yes, that's me. So Minnie has a question. So it's normal to have a written agreement. Yes, I always have a written agreement with them. It doesn't have to be something that you draw up with a lawyer or something, just literally put it on a Google doc, write out the terms. This is what you're agreeing to post at this time at this day. You know, pictures have to be approved 24 hours ahead of time if you want to. And obviously keep in mind, the less you're paying for the post, the less you can expect in return, right? If you're paying $10 for a post, guys, don't expect a, a lot in return, right? If you're paying $500 for a post, you should expect a lot in return for sure. Yeah, definitely. You're welcome, Vinny. Cool. Okay, awesome. So... We've also worked with a lot of agencies and this is why I am trying to warn you guys because I have had horrible experiences with working with other agencies that are charging ridiculously expensive prices and literally have been so dissatisfied with the level of service, which is why Fashion Ninja Warrior is now offering our own influencer marketing. So you guys know how I'm all about offering affordable services for small startups because I'm all about helping you succeed and you can't succeed if you run out of money. So I want to make sure that we're giving you an option, an affordable option to do your influencer marketing, to not go crazy thinking, oh my gosh, this is another thing I have to put on my plate. Allow us to do it for you. We'll manage the entire thing for you. We will vet the influencers, we'll find the influencers, we'll do all the scouting process for you, and then we'll manage the entire campaign start to finish. And it's super affordable, guys. It's anywhere from $275 to $500 per influencer per post. That's including our fee and the influencer's fee, which is crazy. So, yep, we do product placement. Um, we don't really typically do influencer marketing for services. It's usually all product placement. So you must have a product 
Um, you don't always have to have inventory, and I will explain that at the end, but you do have to have a product in order to do influencer marketing. Okay, cool. And I'm gonna tell you all about how you can win a free influencer marketing campaign at the end. Okay, so now let's talk really quickly because we're running out of time. Three key components of developing a winning influencer marketing campaign. So number one, set your goals. What do you want out of the campaign, right? You can have awareness goals, which would be growing your number of followers, getting more traffic to your website, gaining trust and credibility, promoting a brand launch or a new product launch, something like that, right? That's all awareness. You could have lead generation as one of your goals, and that would be like getting more email subscribers, getting more SMS text subscribers. I hope you're doing SMS marketing. It's very powerful. And then the third type of goal you could have is conversions, also known as sales. Straight up sales, you want your stuff to sell, right? So figure out what your goal is, number one. And then number two, you need to figure out how you're going to quantify that goal. So goals need to be measurable. This is what SMART goals really are, S-M-A-R-T. The M stands for measurable in order to determine your ROI. Everyone asks, well, how do I determine ROI on an influencer marketing campaign? First, you have to know your goals. Second, you have to actually put numbers and time on them so that you can measure them, right? And definitely be sure when you're doing influencer marketing that you're using tracking links. Otherwise, you will not be able to track anything and you won't have any stats at the end of the day. So for example, how many emails do you want to have added to your email list by a certain date? How much sales do you want? How many testimonies do you want? How many likes, comments, impressions, reach, um, new followers do you want, right? These are all numbers that you can quantify that you can set as your goal. And then number three, the third key is mapping out your budget, both time and money. And I consider time to be part of your budget because it will run out. There are only 24 hours in a day. So you need to budget your time the same way that you budget your money. So how much money can you actually allocate to influencer marketing on a monthly or yearly basis? How much inventory can you actually part with because you're gonna be giving free product to all of these influencers? And then on the flip side, how much time can you actually dedicate to finding and forging relationships with these influencers? Hey, Perry. And then do you need to hire an agency to do all this for you? Probably because you're already doing a thousand things and it's super hard to keep track of all the hats that you're already wearing, so you might as well pay someone else to do it. It's, trust me, it's much more effective. Influencers are a headache, so let us handle the headache for you. Last question, when is the right time to start influencer marketing? My answer, now. You need to start influencer marketing now. As long as you have samples, you don't necessarily need inventory, although inventory is preferred. You can do influencer marketing with just samples. Hey, Edith, how are you? As long as you have samples, you can start your influencer marketing now. Now, I would say that you should have a decent Instagram page. Most influencers, the first thing they're gonna do is go check out your brand and they're gonna check it out on Instagram. So you need to have a decent looking Instagram page, otherwise they're gonna be turned off and be like, I don't really wanna put my name on this brand and promote this brand, right? So you really need to have a great Instagram feed, beautifully cohesive. We have a great online course if you're not sure how to do that, it's called Intelligent Instagram, or we've got amazing, amazing Instagram services. We can grow your following. We're literally getting over a thousand followers per month right now on my own fashion uh, angel warrior page and we also can create amazing content for your Instagram as well So set up a 20-minute call with us. It's free if you're interested in any of our Instagram services But I do recommend that you don't heavily do influencer marketing until you really have your shop page launch and you're ready to actually take orders So keep that in mind if you're gonna start influencer marketing with just samples do a little bit of it But don't really start heavily doing it until you've got product inventory shop page Ready to go, everything's ready to go, all right? Latina Chic Boutique, I was given a list of influencers so I don't know how to approach them. Awesome question. So we literally teach this all inside of our online course, PR Like a Boss. I teach you exactly how you should reach out to influencers. It's really, really important because if you don't reach out to them the right way, they may not wanna work with you. They may think you're you know, trying to scam them or just offer them free product when they really wanna get paid. So it's really, really important that you reach out to them right, the right way. And again, this is another great reason why you should hire 
an agency to do it for you because we're professionals and we've worked with plenty of influencers and we know exactly how to do it. So the good news is we are doing an amazing free giveaway. We are giving away $1,200 worth of free influencer marketing managed all by us, all expenses paid. You will literally have the chance to advertise your brand to thousands of people, get some gorgeous content for your brand as well. Don't forget another benefit of influencer marketing is you actually get these photos at the end of the day that you can now use and promote all over your social media, your website, etc. Literally worth over $1,200. So one lucky fashionpreneur is going to get three micro influencers chosen specifically for your brand, entire campaign management by us, to assist you along the way so you don't have to worry about anything you can just sit back and relax and gorgeous content that you can repurpose for your feed so here's how to enter go to our instagram page fashion angel warrior make sure you find the giveaway photo like the photo tag three friends if you want a bonus entry share it to your instagram stories and don't forget to text the word fashion to 833-988-0585. This is our VIP SMS text list. I am texting my VIPers only once a month with only valuable content, no promos, no selling anything. It is only free valuable content and it's only once a month text, that's it. So if you wanna be on our VIP text list and enter the giveaway, you have to text the word fashion to 833-988-0585. So the contest ends this Saturday and the winner will be announced Sunday, August 2nd. So make sure that you go to our Instagram page right now and make sure you enter. Also, if you are interested in our PR Like a Boss class, it is available on our website, fashionangelwarrior.com slash PR. In this class, you're gonna get 16 free and low cost ways to get press. The secret to finding if your influencer's following is fake. My five step process to get your celebs wearing your product without having to pay for expensive PR. Plus on top of this, you get email lists of over 175 top magazines, stylists and ed editors, including Elle magazine, Allure, etc. You're gonna get our email list of over 50 fashion bloggers, including the Man Repeller, the Blonde Salad, etc. And you're gonna get our 100 top celeb list, including A-list celebrities. Literally, we just had a client, guys, get their handbag in the hands of Sarah Jessica Parker and Reese Witherspoon. It is amazing, all from this online course. Literally worth over $500, and we're selling it for only $149. This is crazy. Definitely make sure that you grab that PR course. Also wanna let you guys know, we are taking a little break from our weekly Facebook Lives for the month of August. So I typically take the month of August off to enjoy some time with my family. So we will be back in September. September 1st will be Facebook Live episode 99. We're gonna talk about the horror stories that I've heard in this business. And then on September 15th, we are gonna have our episode number 100. It's gonna be a huge party. So I'm super, super excited. It's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna have this whole themed party with balloons and champagne and all this stuff. It's gonna be tons of fun. We're gonna actually reminisce about where we started with our Facebook Lives back in April of 2017 and how far we have come. We're gonna talk about our top 10 Facebook Lives that you guys have loved the most. And we're gonna show you some highlights from them and talk about those. So it's gonna be amazing. You definitely don't wanna miss episode number 100. It is gonna be one for the books. So don't forget, share this in your stories, share this on Facebook. Let people know they have to they have to watch, they have to join the Fearless Fashion Printer in order to watch it. If you're on Instagram, this will be in our stories for 24 hours and then it will be deleted. So if you wanna miss it or if you missed it and you wanna watch it or you wanna watch the replay, head on over to the Fearless Fashion Printer Facebook group. There's a link in the bio and you can watch it there. And as always, I love you guys. Have an amazing month of August. You'll still be seeing me in the stories, all that fun stuff. And don't forget to always do whatever it takes. Love you guys. Thanks, bye.